This video will serve as an introduction to the standard dashboard. This sample estimate contains four buildings, each with approximately 12 million in cost for a direct cost of 48 million. With fees included, there's a total cost of just over 53 million. Moving to the dashboard view, the first dashboard we see is the one level estimate summary. Choose a WBS property from the drop down and the summary will reformat itself. The WBS properties available in the list and their associated values are controlled by the classification sheet. It is critical that the property names and values on this sheet match your estimate exactly. Overwrite column A to add your bid package or your own proprietary sorts and insert more columns between A and B for additional WBS properties. On the summary, scrolling further down, you will see your indirect costs and your total project cost. To hide the rows that do not contribute to cost, simply use the control print filter, unselect the zeros, and click OK. The second dashboard is the system breakdown. Ultimately, the same as the first dashboard with one major addition the ability to select the systems in use in your project, building one, two, three, and parking garage, as an example, and see those costs by location per division. This dashboard is built to support up to eight systems by default. We only need four. We can use the groups at the top and hide the unused columns. Use the control print filter to remove the zeros and you've now cleaned up your deliverable. For the indirect costs on the system breakdown, the total cost of the fee pulls into the right, and based on the percent of total for each of those buildings, you will see the proration of that total cost of the fee. The estimate comparison dashboard allows you to take advantage of the comparison view to load in an earlier version of your estimate or a similar benchmark project. Clicking Update Comparison grabs the data, and you can choose your estimates to set up your variance math. The last dashboard is the alternate summary. This takes every value from your alternate name WBS property that is not your base bid or base estimate value and pulls in their costs into the appropriate column based on their status. In this estimate, we can see I have my base bid and I have three alternates in play. The last sheet in the standard dashboard is the references sheet. This is the guts of the standard dashboard. The universal settings must be adjusted to match your organization standards. If you use something besides system, simply overwrite it in the green cell. Make sure your alternate name and alternate status WBS properties are updated to match, as well as all of the values in use by your alternate status WBS property. We typically see four, base bid, accepted, pending, rejected. Row 11 dictates where the fees start presenting. We have some users who skip the first few rows of their fee table for specific workflows from a deliverable perspective, and this allows you to facilitate that. The additional lookup section allows you to look for additional columns from the estimate view if you're trying to build your own dashboard. Essentially, the heavy lifting is done. Same thing for project properties. If you enter a project property that you know exists on your project, like number of keys, it will find the value for use for cost per analysis or data to add to your header. The bottom sections are doing the heavy lookups for the system breakdown, finding every unique value and alphabetizing them. For the estimate comparison, finding every unique estimate and alphabetizing, and every unique alternate and ABC sorting them as well. The last section is the fee table. Now this is pulling back all the data from your fee table into a nicely formatted location so that we can reference those on the front sheets.